Hi there everyone, my name is Angus Cormac, and today we will be continuing the playthrough on Undertale. Alright, well, last time, all we really did is we just, um, went back and visited Undyne. That's pretty much it. And we became a friend, and that's actually pretty cool. And now whenever we oops, talk on the cell phone, it's been a little bit since I played, um, and talk to both of them, Undyne and Papyrus. Hey, that's the store of- oh, Gerson. The Hammer of Justice. The toughest monster that ever lived. He fought in the war between humans and monsters. And he survived! He's a real hero! Wow. That's really impressive. Been around for a long time, maybe too long. History. History. Okay, wow. That's actually really cool. But anyways, since Undyne's over at Papyrus' house, I kinda wanna go back and... Uh, yes. Snowden. I kind of want to go back and see what they have to talk about in person, or what they're doing in general. Maybe I'll be able to go into Sansa's room finally. Tra la la, humans, monsters, flowers. Okay. Me, and everyone, and Flowey. It's weird. Huh. Alright. I really just want to go. Come again some time, tra la la, okay. Ooh, I wonder if they'll talk about this guy. That furry person throws ice all day. Okay. Nobody knows where it goes. Hey, I know. Alpha's told me. It goes to Hotland to cool down the core. Wow, Undyne. <laughs> like dirty stuff. That's it. Huh. That's cool to know. Um. Papyrus is over here. Oh, hey, they're outside. Cool. Hey, punk. What's up? A chew. Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we stand in grillbees instead? Because I hate grease. <laughs> but you don't have a stomach. <laughs> no. But I have standards. That's funny. I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. That's one way to put it. Can I get into Sand's room? <laughs> the door is still locked. What do they have to say about it? You're in my house. Good choice. Well, I guess it's technically Sans's house too. But I prefer not to discuss his part of it. His room is like another world. A world where they don't know how to vacuum. Oh, it's still just him. <sighs> oh, I went in his room. Oops. <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Um, what was he? Oh yeah, I was gonna go back to Grillby's. I don't know why. Just cause I want to. Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I've been here. It is switched to go fish. Nice. Hmm. Do you still make the noise? You do! Ah! Man, I'm getting stuck on stuff. There we go. May not look like it. Okay, that's the letter. So I've talked to- I guess I've talked to people about the changes in speech. Anyways, um... Let me try There bees. We're too refined for that grease hole. <laughs> Whoa, if you go, you have to try the cheese fries. They're amazingly bad for you. Oh, sorry. The virus. Were you saying something? Just monologuing about my love for Greece. Okay. <laughs> well, that's fun. Mm, okay. So that's what they have to offer here. I guess I can take this back, except I guess I go all the way over, which I don't need to do. Can I get in here yet? Hello, that's not my house. That's just my cool tool shed. Do you call it your cool shed? <laughs> no, I've never thought of that. That's why we're friends, Undyne. You enrich my life with shed-based puns. That's the only one I've ever made, dude. Nice. It'd be nice to be able to see in there. I don't know. It's kind of cool that they're actually that they're getting along like this. I mean, I guess they always did, but like what they're doing. Here for a ride? Yeah. I want to go to Hotland. All right. That only took me forever to get back to Hotland. But anyways, off we go. Tra-la-la. Hmm. Pants? 
Should have worn a few million more pants, pairs of pants today. Why am I not surprised? I don't get what your deal with pants is, but for whatever reason, good for you. Actually, since I'm here, maybe I can go back to the lab. You guys are probably all yelling at me, saying just go finish the Hotlands place, go to the core, whatever. I want to go to the lab. See if Alphys is here somewhere. Because I haven't actually talked to her in person in a while. That's still there. I think she's in the bathroom. Maybe she's upstairs. No, it doesn't look like it. I can never find her in her own lab. I don't get it. Oh well. Now, let's get down to business. Sort of. Forgot that doesn't open automatically. Where was I? Right floor three is where I was going? I think. Let's see. <gasps> yep, there he is. Keats Flamesman. I actually got his name right this time. Um, that was that over there, so I gotta go up here, I guess. Hey, it's Sands! What's his note? Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Okay, in a second. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure. Great. Thanks. Thanks for- oh gosh. Thanks for treating me. Over here. I know a shortcut. When don't you know a shortcut, Sans? Wow, this is classy. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? I guess I never thought of that, yeah. You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, buddo. So, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have, it's what you have, is, is what you have to do really worth it? I don't know what he's getting at. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. Yes, 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 please tell me about that, please, please! And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Whoa, you did a woman's voice. Who's there? So naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Could that be Toriel? Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, gosh. Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The virus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. It's gotta be Toriel. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something very strange. If a human ever comes through this door, would you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. The 
You get what I'm saying? The promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand? Okay, that was freaky. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, I haven't done a great job protecting you. Ha ha haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. That's right, isn't it? Well, chalk it up to my great skills, even though I kind of died a lot to get the tummy armor, which I heard is a bad, bad, bad thing. That was scary. What the heck? Why does he keep looking off to the side? Eh. Sense? Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Wow. Okay. All of them will cult of visiting celebrities. Who is to die for or just to die with fragments? These are all metaton, of course. That was intense. It's a platoon of fiscuses. Some kind of TV show featuring metaton. Wow. Sans. I can't tell if he actually, like, threatened me, or if he was telling the truth, or what on earth, because he didn't have any eyes when he said that, and is he talking to Toriel, and does he know that? What happens if I go back to the door now? As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't want to look like like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this fiscus. Well, that's not awkward. Where am I even? Oh, hello. It's a snow drake! Wait, is this an Aaron? Wow, that looks that looks a lot like a Metar mixed with a mole from Earthbound. The little rat guy right there. Originally we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks, but now building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go uh, two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. I want to get by you. I want to talk. I kind of want to talk to this snow drake. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, <laughs> he wants to be a. Co oh, oh, so that's Snow Drake's mother, like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells uh, this awful, this awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, oh, maybe that's his sister or something. He couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a, oh, that is his father. I'm a terrible father. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Talking to you about this, it's breaking my heart, ha ha, that's not funny. Well, that's kind of sad. That's scary, what the heck are you? Blub, blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Thanks. Blub, blub. Blubbity, blub, blub, blub. Thank you, creepy fish. Okay, it's a metaton thing. Uh, it's a drinking fountain, just kidding. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with determination. Well, I kinda wanna... Okay, so it said go out here. What is back here? This isn't creepy at all. Oh, hey, cool! Hey, check it out, yeah, check it out. Uh, let's talk. About, so, like, what's up? I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend, Braddy. <laughs> wow, nice. That's funny, kind of, <laughs> about your wares. The stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive, but like 
the stuff we found is like totally wicked cheap. What? You should like totally wicked buy all of it. Origin of where's? I mean like, where does anyone get guns or food? Or we found it in the garbage. It's good garbage. It's like really good garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store. Duh. Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. Okay, wow. How about Metaton? Sure. Metaton! Wow, they seem to- Okay, okay, they seem to like him a little too much. He's like, uh, my robot husband. Actually, he's like my robot husband. I think we're like, we're both already married to him. We're going to- He's just like, doesn't know it yet. That's creepy. Origin of Metaton, ooh. So like, Dr. Alphys built Metaton, right? That's, like, what they tell you. But like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was an old friend. But they're like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. Okay, Reddit, Reddit, Reddit. Ah! Okay, about Alphys. Alphys... She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul that's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. With a soul. Huh. Didn't realize he had a soul, I guess. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. About Asgore. He's a total goober. He's a big, fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. Like, he's, like, so nice. This is so hard to read. There's so many likes. So hyped for the destruction of humanity? Okay, that's enough. Can I sell? Thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. <laughs> Glam burgers. Okay, that's enough of that. What do you have to wear? Keels has a big bite out of it. That's gross. Empty gun. Bullets not included. Okay. Weird. Cowboy hat. Attack up when worn. Mystery key? Probably someone to someone's house. Hmm. I'm so dang close! Gosh! Look at that! 559 gold. Gosh, okay, you know what? Uh, guess who's getting another visit? Just a regular wall. I was just wondering. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? <sighs> Tummy! Oops, that's the puzzle. How did I do this way? That and the door. Uh, left floor one. Alright, so. Well, I didn't go anywhere, basically. But, hey, we learned a heck of a lot of stuff, so anyways. Thank you so much for everyone watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to um, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, advice, anything. And um, hopefully you'll stick around for more Undertale videos, but until then, bye for now.